Hey guys, so a couple months ago, you may remember, I uh, posted a video of, hi guys, hi, 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 hi Gosuke. Oh, they heard me talking and they all came to the party. Anyway, some of you may have remembered that I posted a couple months ago about this uh, automatic dog water bowl that I made. Um, basically, to summarize, I have this, uh, this hose hooked up to an electronic uh, triggered valve that whenever this float switch, so it's just a little floaty bobber, whenever it was too low, meaning the water level was too low, it would kick it on, fill it up, and then eventually this would get high enough that it would turn the water off and wait for the dogs to drink more and start the cycle over. Um, unfortunately, the switch was apparently not a very high quality one, and the uh, it toasted itself one time while I wasn't in here watching. And uh, I'm guessing the dogs just drank out of it a little too much, and something in it just fried. It wasn't ready for it. I don't know. But basically, it never got the signal that the bowl was full, and just continuously started kept filling it up with water, overflowed this, flooded the kitchen, went into the floorboards, flooded the basement. I don't know how long it was going, but it made some damage. So I uh, took back that plan and came up with one that only fills up when I am watching it to make sure that doesn't happen again. Um, so this switch no longer does anything. It's still there because it's plugging a hole in the side, so I still need it to be there. But now, instead of it being nicely automatic, I, uh, I still have this nice little feature of a push button hanging at the top of the fridge here. So instead of worrying about picking this thing up, taking it to the sink, filling it up and then putting it back down. Every time I walk by here, I just look down, check the water level, and if it's too low, I just press this button. And you can look down, and you can see it filling up, see the level, and once it's good enough, I let go. So, still very useful, and now it doesn't involve a float switch, so it's uh, more reliable and uh, easier for people to make on their own. It, it is a great thing. It's very useful to have. It always keeps this bowl full um, and is super simple. So anyway, just wanted to update everyone that was uh, wondering how the automatic water bowl worked. It, uh, it, it didn't. <laughs> it worked for a while, but then it caused problems. So here's another solution for you, um, an easy one to try out. So let me know if you have any questions, but that's it for now.